This is a very big deal for Apple because it removes a new term concern that Apple cannot implement any Gen AI functions on iPhone due to its lack of infrastructure investments relative to other large tech companies. Uh, I think it positions iPhone, at least in the near term, to be the go-to device to interact with large language models. A high priority item in those negotiations is you know, commercial agreements on you know, how much Apple or Google should pay. I don't think that the AI function is the determinant factor at the moment. I think there are a couple of ways for us to get excited about the next generation iPhone with more capable AI functions. And I think the next iteration of Siri augmented by AI could be becomes really helpful as an agent will help us navigate through multiple apps and as a real world applications of things we could do with iPhones where the interface becomes voice.